I wanted to start by saying hello to the very few but brave men in the room. <laughs> yes, we thank you for your support. And dear uh, ladies and friends, it's, a, it's an honor for me to share a platform with, um, with people on the stage here, but it's an especial honor for me to come back to the art of living because I've been a student of it some years ago, did the um, beginner's course, did the Kriya very correctly and then lost a little touch and this has been a wonderful reminder for me when I did my Kriya this morning in the group. Thank you. So if I can just start with, um, for the Spanish people in the room, buenos dias, como esta? Great. And for the French, bonjour, como allez-vous? Great. And maybe just uh, hi for the rest of the American, North American audience. And for the humanity from India, namaste. Greetings, we bow to you. So what does this do, right? My first principle in, in my few opening remarks was going to be women can become global citizens by using technology. It's all on the end of our little fingertips to be able to find whatever we need to say to the other, to be able to connect from one culture to the other. And I wanted to say that why did there just become a few, you know, sort of a quick reaction of friendliness in the room? Because we connected with the Spanish group, with the French group, and with the rest of the Indian world as well. So this goes back to a brain principle that I'd quickly like to share with you. The brain, according to scientific uh, study, the man's brain and the woman's brain, you can actually tell them apart, right? The woman's brain has a different chemical in it. It's called oxytocin. And what does oxytocin do? It likes to form, what do we like to do? Bonds, yeah, we are the bonding type. And so automatically when you take a little time to bond with somebody, and a woman can easily do this using technology, then you can be a fabulous global citizen and an ambassador of your own culture and your own nation. And that brings me to the second point, that women are going to be carrying the culture of the nation and of the family. So it is up to us to use technology to do exactly that job that we were set out to do. Why? Because again, going back to the woman's brain, we are natural multitaskers. If you look at the woman's brain and a man's brain, the wires in a man's brain go from point A to B to C to D usually, but in the women's brain, it'll be all crisscrossed. Any doctors in the audience? Any neuro doctors as well? I'm saved. I can say whatever I want and get away with it. <laughs> but you can go check this research. It was taught at Harvard by the chair of the Women's Leadership Board that it is the women's brain that is crisscrossed. So what happens when a man's, a man's brain can often go into rest mode, can really rest. But a woman's brain, even in rest mode, what's it doing? That's how we are. So yes, applaud yourself. Even when you're resting, you're working. So what happens when you meet a man and you ask your husband, so what are you thinking? And he's saying nothing. And you're saying nothing. I know what you're thinking. You don't want to tell me. Hey, hey, men's brains can actually think nothing. And, and, and I don't mean this, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way at all. I want you to know I have the highest respect, right? And this is, now I'm saying it's a scientific dawning. So if nothing else happens, leave this hall today and believe your husband, partner, significant other, brother, when he says, I'm thinking nothing. Believe him, the trust builds and it works. 
So I'd be happy to share some thoughts on this, but we must believe we were meant to be different. But then came along wonderful guru like Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Ji. He taught us that Ardha Narishwara is what we are, right? We have half man and half woman qualities in every one of us. But let's take advantage of the woman qualities such as multitasking and bonding with the help of technology.